everybody. This is a 20 minute roughly plank challenge. We're gonna go ahead and start. Just get on a regular plank. It's gonna be two minutes long and I'm gonna describe the workout as we go. This is just kind of a warm up. Now you can hold the plank, you can hold plank on your elbows. Whatever you need to do to warm your muscles up, you can follow along with me. I'm gonna kind of do a dynamic warm up here to stretch out all the muscles we need. But if you're already warmed up, just consider this the first part of your workout. But if you want to, we'll come to the side and lift one arm up. And we'll switch to the other arm. You don't have to follow me either on this. This is a warm up. Just make sure you're staying up in that plank position or that elbow position. Got to come back, go to a pipe. Walk the feet out. Tilt forward. Those hips engaged. Do not be resting. Keep your body up still. Back up. Side to side. Hip dips if you want to. Like I said, this is a warm up. Or if you've already done an exercise and you're already warm, just hold that plank. I'm gonna hold it for this last 30 seconds on my elbows. And then immediately following this, we're gonna go into a reverse crunch. So we're gonna be, not a reverse crunch, just a reverse plank, sorry. So we're gonna be on our backs. In 10 seconds, we'll switch over. Three, two, and switch. Hands all the way up. You can't do hands all the way up. You go on your elbows. Just always focus when you're on a reverse crunch. You don't, you don't have to lock your arms out entirely. You keep your hands. I like to keep mine facing outwards. But I really like to focus on keeping my hips up. Or kind of engage the butt muscles too. You also feel a nice burn in your, in your shoulders as well. But always make sure you're not dipping down, you're pushing up. That's really what's going to strengthen your lower back there, is that pushing that resistance to want to dip down. You do a very, very strong lower back. In five seconds, we're going to go to our transition rest. All right. So only 10 seconds in this rest. We're going to come back to a plank. We're going to do fire hydrants. So we're just pushing our legs out like a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. If you want to, you can come down here. I'm going to stay up. And it's really about just the leg movement. You don't want to stay to the side. You don't want you to be popping your chest out. You simply want to be just moving your leg up. Your leg up. Go to our 
left side plank. And hand, four elbow. So three, two, go. So we are gonna switch halfway through this. Okay, I'll let you know. Always make sure your fingers are as relaxed as possible. You're not holding tension anywhere else in your body. You're grimacing on your face. Let that go. All right, in five seconds, we're switching over. Three, switch. You don't want to be dipping down. Hold yourself up if you need to. You can feel inside of your abs where it's engaged. You don't want to be leaning back and forth too much either. Alright, we're going back to Spanish points again, but with the wax on, wax off, Mr. Miyagi style. So what you want to do, stand your plank, wax on, wax off. Switch hands, wax on, wax off. This is a controlled speed. You want to get to a good rhythm. Busting them out, but second, your first hand hits the ground, lift the other one up. A lot of these movements when you're lifting one leg up, lifting one arm up, it's not so much about making the arm stronger or anything, which does help, but it's getting you to focus on keeping that core as engaged as possible. We're going to our next one. With elbow punches. Again, this does help. Get on your elbows and punch. This does help your elbows. It does help your arms. It does help lengthen them. But as you can tell, I'm still not perfect at it either. The idea in all these movements is having such a strong core that your body's not moving at all. Really focus in on flexing and holding that core. So if your punches or your waxes aren't beautiful, that's not really the self focus. Focus on keeping that tight core. We're gonna go on to a forward lean now. I can keep my hands backwards, if you can't, that's fine. But you just wanna lean forward. If you need to do it in your front hands, lean forward, that's fine. But you will definitely feel a superior engagement. The farther forward you can lean, the better. Don't lock your elbows and rest on them if you have your hands like me. Just lean forward. That good slight bend. This will really force you to focus on that core. Perfect, guys. All right. Now we're going to our pipes version. Still on our hands, chest down and just pike it up. It should be kind of a rest. Don't be bending your knees down. When you're fairly locked out, not all the way locked out, you never really want to lock your knees out with any workout. These ones I'm doing. But again, use this time to focus on really flexing your core. That feeling, what it feels like. The more you can actively engage in that core, consciously flexing your core, the stronger and the more you'll get out of every exercise you do. Whether it be running, any type of endurance sport, 
we're switching to getting on a reverse. Then we're going to swing our legs out. So out and out. Remember the focus here is keeping those hips up, especially if you have hip problems. I've had very tight hips in the past. Being a runner, you know, I get issues with my calves, my hips, my lower back. But they're all preventable. And if they're not preventable necessarily, they're all fixable. And they all have a certain amount of recovery. It'll strengthen you get you up. A lot of these, like some of my other videos, I say, a lot of these workouts can help rehab you, but they also can help prevent a myriad of other issues for your lower back and your, your body as a whole. We're going to do ab circles now, arm out, and just stir. Stir that pot on the side. Switch halfway through. Try to keep those hips level. Like they both have the same amount of space between your mat. Now switch arms. This is where you might start to lose form. It's where I start to a little bit. I've got to really engage myself. Keep stirring. Not done yet. All right. Now we're going to standard plank ups. Which is arm, arm, elbow, elbow. There you go. These are for speed. Like I always say, speed doesn't mean anything if you don't have proper technique. And it's just going to get you hurt. So as fast as you can go while keeping the proper technique. If you can't do these, just hold the plank. done. Not well over, but we're taking a good chunk out of it. We're going to go to side stars on your side, arm up, leg up. Again, these are half and halves. where your hips are, be mindful, switch, I like to use the mat obviously for cushioning, but it's also always very good to have it because the mat, as long as it's a normal cut factory mat, it's going to have a straight line on it. You can always check yourself and check your form and say, hey, my hand's about half a foot, your foot needs to be about half a foot. That's how you can line it up, that's what I always do. All right, we're gonna go to more dynamic now. Plank jumpers. Uh, just knock out as many as you can cut. Don't be holding yourself up in the air. Keep it flat and then come. Way done. Three, two, and 
Good job. Now, we're getting back on our back with the reverse planks. Three seconds. Then we're gonna pull the lever down. Pull it down. If you're ringing a bell, shutting off a big power switch, whatever you would imagine you do it. Got about 20 seconds, guys. If you can't pull anymore, just hold it. Got 10 seconds. Three, two, good job. Now, we're going to walk out. It's another semi rest, but not really. You can walk it out, hold it, walk your hands out then, walk them back, and then walk it in. You don't want to stand all the way up. That's not the purpose. Going back, doing the hamstring stretch, and go right back forwards, good position, out, out, in, in. Hold it, out, out, in, in. Let's go for two more, if we can. Dot. Now we're going back to our side, our side dips. And just dip them out. Remember, check your positioning and also make sure that side core is engaged. Five seconds on this side. And switch. Another thing is too, if you can look down and see your heels, that means your butt's too far out. Unless your neck just sticks out really far. What yours might, mine doesn't, I have a small neck. But that's another good way to tell if you're pushing your butt out too far. Now we've got reverse plank runners, or high knees, however fast you can do it. Hips up, and go. Try to be as light as you can, putting that foot down. Be as conscious as you can about keeping your hips up. The more you work to keep those hips up, the stronger your lower back is going to be. All right, we're coming up on our final movement of the 50 second series. Then we have our two minute cool down. Probably not really a cool down, but two minute interval to end. All right, we're coming just to a standard but wide rep plank. Keep your feet in, don't keep your feet out, that's the star. Keep your feet in. The farther out your hands are, the harder it's gonna be. Way there. Ten seconds, guys. All right, reset yourself. 
yourself quickly, shake your hands out, and just go to that plank. We're gonna do basically what we did for the warm up. I'm gonna stretch out a little bit, but this also is still gonna keep the game in you. You're holding yourself up. Don't trick yourself. This is still part of the workout, but it's meant to cool you down a little bit. I go to my left arm for a few seconds. Switch to the right. Walk it out for the next 15. For the last minute, I'm going to hold it. In three, two, hold. Really focus on staying conscious about keeping that core tight. I know I said it a thousand times, but it's something I have to remind myself every time I work out. Twenty seconds left. Thanks for watching. Go kick some ass, whatever you're doing today.